We are one month away from a brand new music festival in the Twin Cities featuring Pitbull, Aerosmith, Rascal Flatts, Tim McGraw, all in the same festival. Uh, and tickets are for the three day event at Canterbury Park are still available. Here to talk about the Twin Cities Summer Jam is one of its founders. Give it up for Chris Hockey, everybody. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How, How you doing? doing? I'm great, man. I'm excited. We're, as you said, we're a month out. This is great. Is that uh, now? I'm I'm big on logos. Is that your logo? Yeah, this that is, is a quality yeah, right. logo Thank right there. I love that. We got some special things going on involving this hat that we'll tell you about first, but uh, it, it's all coming up, man. Yeah, I, again, we talked about it a couple of times. You've been nice enough to have me on your show a couple of times. I can't believe we are a month out. So I brought you. Some gifts. Oh well, thank That's you. That's right. Uh, not only did I bring you a, a whole party bag for Summer Jam, but brought you tickets to see Aerosmith as well. Oh, well, yes, thank that's you. That's right. Absolutely. Oh, my yeah. goodness. And this is this is a party in a bag. It's Let a me tell you, I love that. Yeah, but we got some vodka. We got some bubbles. So we got. You a could have stopped in lotion. vodka. You yeah, could have. Yeah. How's it? As Chris said, Chris is here right with, with the announcement, and I asked you back then, I said, uh, is it more work than you thought? So let me re-ask that question. How, is it more work than you thought? <laughs> it's been way more work, yeah. But you know, uh, we've got a great staff. That's the thing, you know, when, when we first started, uh, we didn't know what we didn't know. Yeah. Uh, we're building this thing from the scratch. We're the, the little festival that could. Um, obviously, the infrastructure at Canterbury Park is there. We booked some great bands. We're super excited about that. But we've hired the staff. We've got the right people in place. Now it's cruise control. We're just selling tickets and getting people into Canterbury Park, and I'm super excited. Yeah, because for people, if you if you don't know, if you don't listen to Chris on KFAN or you, you don't know, the origin was I, when I listed all the performers. Yeah. You realized there was a there was a void in the in the market as far as music uh, for, as far as concerts here. Sure. There wasn't one that had a mix of music. Am I right on that? That's exactly right. Yeah, the multi-genre thing was the whole idea. I mean, nobody has just one kind of music on their phone or whatever they listen to their music on. So the idea was to put all those uh, different genres together. And we've done that. You have Aerosmith. You have Tim McGraw and Pitbull on the same day. I, you know, it's so I'm excited to see Rascal Flatts and Ario Speedwagon on the same stage. Yeah. Solo side in there as well. So, it's going to yeah. be. We're looking at Rascal Flats right now. Oh, yeah. How how are you gonna now? Are you? Let me ask you because you're the, one of the founders. You're working. You're gonna be working. Yeah. Are you gonna be able to enjoy yourself, my friend, uh, during the? Are you gonna be able to have a moment? Yeah. You you promise you? I want you to enjoy. You I mentioned was thinking, that vodka thing, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. So I carry that with me. But yeah, and I'm excited. You know, I, uh, first of all, um, being one of the the founders. Yeah. Uh, I put myself on the lineup with Aerosmith, so that's pretty cool. Did so you? I'll be playing that day, so. Ser yeah, that's cool. That's right. That's you know. That's hey. what you do when you're the founder. That's right. Yeah. Only way I'm gonna get to open for Aerosmith is to own the festival. So you are opening for Aerosmith. Actually, it goes me, Buck Cherry, then Aerosmith. Hey. That's, that's pretty cool. I love those bands. I those mean, are my bands. Come on. I love it. That's great. Yeah. That has to feel. You're yeah. gonna be on the same stage yeah. as Aerosmith. Have you wrapped your brain around that yet? I'm still wrapping my head around the entire thing. And you know, the cool thing is, I mean, we're already working on 2020 as well. We've already booked one of the bands for 2020. And go ahead and announce them right I here. I can't yeah. do that yet. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do that the day of the the show. But um, are they big? Yeah. It, it keeps getting bigger, and uh, uh, so. Uh, hopefully one Country. day we'll be uh, a little bit of everything. Okay. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. That's a good hint. You'll you'll hear. I, I'll say this: the the uh, the artists we're working on right now, you will hear on multiple different radio stations. I'll say that. Absolutely yes, yes. And you know what? I'll tell you first. How about that? Oh, done. You get that. Yeah, I like that. I like that too. Well, good. of course. And how's uh, how's the the radio show going? It's going well, thank you. Yeah, it's good. You know, I, I can't believe people still listen. I mean. I, <laughs> I have no idea. We go in and uh, we just I see your ratings. A lot of people Thank are listening much. to your Thank show. You. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's great. You know, as you well know, radio, talk radio is the best because you just sit and talk to your friends and uh, yeah. hopefully uh, you have some kind of chemistry and we've figured that out and so far so good. And don't you, don't you like it too? And I think I, I've said this to you before. I think morning radio is a gift yeah. because you have the ability to start people's day out great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And you know, what's really neat is now I, I travel all over the place with my band and do all kinds of things as well. And uh, talking to people who've literally been listening to our show for 18 years of their life. And uh, that's a giant piece of somebody's existence to, yeah. to be a part of somebody's life. That's a real honor. But, I don't think that's... You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But doesn't it make you feel old, too? I mean, when oh. people... <laughs> yes. Hey, you when know what? People... 
What makes me feel old is the but, gray. I know, and my beard. Yeah, give me some of that. That's right. Chris that's and right. I, have, literally, we've grown up together we in have. radio. So, yeah. yeah. But when you do get kids that go, I listened to you when I was uh, in third grade, yeah. and they have gray hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, and you're like, it's yeah. the best. How about this one? Uh, my grandma loves your show. <laughs> yes. Do you ever get that? I get that all the time. I am legally, uh, actually, you know what's funny? I made it. I am legally changing my name to my mom loves your show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what, yeah. right. Which I love is fine it. That's a me. huge compliment. Absolutely. I love it. There was a kid, there's not a kid, he's a young adult at Whole Foods in Minneapolis. His name is Evan. And every day he's like, my mom loves your show. And I'm like, thank you, Evan. That's he's, the, yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's the greatest. I love this. You know, oh, by the way, I was just told you have a surprise for our audience. Yeah, well, I, I brought you Aerosmith tickets. I figured I'd bring everybody Aerosmith tickets. <laughs> You're going to Aerosmith. You're going to Aerosmith. And you You're going guess. to Aerosmith. You're going to Aerosmith. Look at that, yeah. everybody. That's my buddy. Give it up for Chris Hockey, everybody. Twin City Summer Jam kicks off on July 18th at Canterbury Park in Shakopee. For tickets, head to tcsummerjam.com. The audience is like, really? Yeah. We'll, we'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody.